What's up LEGO Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for the biggest week of building Coruscant we have had so far because I'm moving the entire mock to a new home. Now this may come as news to some of you guys as this happened very quickly and I wasn't super public about it, but um, just because I didn't really know the whole timetable of everything, but now I know. And to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, we, are, we were originally planning and moving at the end of May. And this caused a problem for Coruscant because I was planning on having it done first or second week of May, meaning the finale would come out in like the first, second or third week, and then I'd have like two weeks to enjoy it and then have to take it apart and move it. And then the opportunity arose to move earlier in April, and I decided to take that gamble and just move the entire unfinished mock. That way I could move it in this uncomplete state and yeah some of it would have to be disassembled and some of it would break but I could then move it reassemble it and then keep it built as long as I want and not have as much of a timetable or time crunch to get it done because I've really been not struggling with the Senate building but I realized it's gonna take a lot more time than I initially realized to really capture and do it justice and so I think a subpar result or a subpar product would have happened if I had stuck to that deadline and tried to finish the whole thing by May. So this week's gonna detail the chronicle of Coruscant being disassembled, packed up, move to the new place and reassemble. So this isn't a full breakdown and packing situation. This is more of like disassemble it as much as possible and move it in as big chunks as possible to make that rebuild as quick and easy as possible. I mean, what else is there to know? You guys wanna see the move. So don't forget to execute order 66 on that like button and let's get started. First thing I gotta do is get everything off the mock that isn't already firmly connected to it. Over the course of a series like this, these big mocks turn into storage areas for me. So there are minifigs, bricks, and even smaller mocks that need to be removed, as well as loose bits and pieces that have found their way into the mock. I tried to keep the actual Senate building section as built as possible when I moved it, and as a result, pieces got lost and sections were broken because I didn't want to disassemble the Senate building, and then it had to hurriedly be broken down to fit in the card. So this time around, Coruscant will be stripped down to its main frame of structures to avoid that. That will mean more rebuilding once it's all moved, but it should be a much smoother and more organized process, instead of me digging around the car looking for loose pieces. So even stuff like statues and street lamps, which are connected to the mock, will need to be removed. There are some parts that I am worried about, which are the battle damage sections of the road. There's so many small loose pieces in those that could go flying out and get lost, so I'm gonna try and tape paper towels across the top to keep everything in place. Now that the loose stuff is all gone, it's time to remove the skyscrapers. Luckily, I built these in a way so they could be easily removed, so this process was a piece of cake, minus the really tall squarish one, which gave me a little trouble when I picked it up. Well, it's about time something broke. This whole process was going way too smoothly. The last thing to do is build a support pillar to go underneath the sky bridge. That way the bridge won't be ripped out of the wall by its own weight if the car hits a bump while it's traveling. Now that the mock is clean and secure, it's time to start separating the mock into its smaller sections. There's a seam between the base plates that runs pretty much the entire length of the mock, and there's nothing above it except for the road which can be removed. However, the seam is connected together at this end by a wall of brick and plate, so I'm going to rebuild this little section of the wall to have a seam as well, so that way when I remove the black frame there will be nothing holding the two base plates together and I can separate the mock into two halves. Man, Coruscant is just a sorry sight right now. Being stripped down to its base frame or skeleton makes it look kind of simple, honestly, like not too complex of a mock. I have everything that was taken off over here. Some of the stuff is in bins, some of the stuff is stacked over here. It may look like chaos, but at least it's an organized chaos. And I think this way, like I was saying out earlier, just taking apart as much as I can or removing as much as I can is going to make the rebuilding process easier instead of, instead of trying to fish out pieces of tree from the car or like maybe a building got knocked off or something like that. As far as moving this beast goes the easiest part was obviously the senate section because by this point in time I just I felt like I should probably build it modular and I'm so glad I did. So this section right here the steps is actually just going to pull back like that and then that will be ready to go on a table of its own just like the actual senate building section. These sections, however, are a lot more convoluted because there is this one big seam that I showed you guys earlier running down the middle. So it'll be split into two halves. There'll be that half and this half. But what I'm unsure of is, are these halves too long to transport? And am I going to have to create another seam right here and basically 
break this into four sections and transport those. I'm hoping I can get each half onto some tables and move it that way. That will allow me to keep these sections intact and I can just put a piece of paper towel down and tape over it and that should keep everything in place because the other seam, I think the easiest one to do would probably be this one right here. And you know, that's underneath the entertainment complex. So I'm gonna have to like rip it up and that could cause some of these pieces to get moved around or lost. And that could cause some of these pieces right here to be displaced. Luckily it would be easier over here on this side because the seam is barely underneath the bank. So I could just pop up this sidewalk and then this whole clone base would go and then the bank would go separately and this thing would be pretty intact. So that's my plan now, but I'm just gonna have to wait and see once we get the vehicles over here and start moving stuff, what's actually possible. I'm very grateful for my family. They're gonna be coming over tomorrow and helping me with all this, so I won't be doing it by myself. And as far as the logistics go of how each of these sections is gonna be secured, moved out of the apartment, into the cars, and then unloaded in the new place is what I'm gonna be showing you next. The Senate building and steps were the easiest to transport because they were each about the size of a table. So I tied each section down and then removed the table legs. That's another reason why I love these IKEA tables so much. All you have to do is unscrew the legs and they turn into a flatbed transport ready to go. After that, those sections were put in my car and moved to the new Lego room. The biggest challenge was the other two sections because each one was longer and wider than a table and my doors weren't wide enough for two tables to go through. So I made a gamble and put each one on one table and tied it down and the mock was basically hanging over every edge of the table, which made it tricky to hold, but I hoped by doing this I would save myself a lot of dismantling and rebuilding later because I wouldn't have as many separate sections to put back together. Getting the mocks out of my place and into the cars was what I was the most stressed about. We live up three flights of stairs, so the mock had to be carefully navigated down steps, over banisters, by lights, and finally up into the truck. Once in there, we secured everything with pillows, blankets, and other stuff, and hoped that the weight of the mock and table would help keep it from moving around too much. As you may have noticed, I'm using bathrobe ties instead of bungee cords. The bathrobe ties are wider and very soft, so the point of contact between the mock and the tie wasn't as damaging, and I didn't have any hooks digging into the build or tables. All right, the traveling portion is finally all done. I think everything made it pretty safely. I've got the steps in my car. Unfortunately, this skyscraper shattered as we were trying to get it into the car, but honestly, this thing's been giving me problems and been driving me crazy since the beginning, so that's just par for the course with that. We've got the bank and the clone base over here. Everything seems to be in one piece still. I taped over those little, uh, you know, explosion battle damage areas and that worked as well. So very happy to see that. And then the last piece of the puzzle, we've got the entertainment complex and the apartment complex. This was the one I was the most worried about just because of how big it was. And, you know, we had to hang both sides over the edge of the table. And so I was just worried about the weight and just carrying it. This and as if that wasn't enough, this one had the part of had part of the road connected to it too and so it hung over the table that way which made it even harder to carry but everything's here all safe and sound and the last step to do is take everything into the new lego room which thankfully there's now only one flight of stairs instead of three now that the most stressful part is done the rest of the process was much more enjoyable and more smooth each table and mock section was brought into the new room and reconnected with its other pieces i was surprised at how cool it was to see such a huge mock be broken down and then reassembled and as each table was added we had more support and surface area to work with because when it's all assembled the table is longer than the mock So I had some extra wiggle room Unfortunately, the road got absolutely decimated going down the stairs and so that's why you don't see it in the mock Every piece is finally back together and now the mighty task of rebuilding and securing needs to happen. I have all the accessories in these buckets for easy moving. To start, I need to add any base plates that were removed and rebuild the black frame. This will help square up the mock and make sure nothing is crooked so the road and other slabs of brick can fit back into their spots snugly. Unfortunately, the frame took a beating as well and I won't be able to get it fully rebuilt until my parts collection arrives. Now I can fix up each of the larger buildings. The bank and the clone base were pretty simple as the accessories were small buildings like canisters and seats that transported well but the entertainment complex had all those tables chairs and small food items and so I just ended up dumping all that in the mock to deal with later man I'm just so sick of that section
The paper towels worked great and all the battle damage sections arrived intact with only minor adjustments needed which can happen later. The smaller builds all transported well and are quickly returning Coruscant to its former vibrant state. But man, this move has really given me a new appreciation for people who will do all of this just to take a mock to another state for a convention. The last building to be done is the apartment complex. Those skyscrapers went back in place like a dream, but that stupid square skyscraper is going to be rough. It just kept breaking and breaking. I was about ready to hurl it into the street and give it a good body slam. I put off the road as long as I could because it probably took the most damage and is going to need the most rebuilding. I basically had a ton of little sections like puzzle pieces to an impossible puzzle. So I decided to just start rebuilding it from scratch and not worry about trying to get the right pieces to fit back together since it's just a road and there was no special design that I was trying to achieve or rebuild. Well, well, well. Coruscant is finally here, reassembled in the new Lego room. This was a very intense process. I'm super grateful for my family for helping out with all this. They made that so much easier, but there were some pros to disassembling this mock and rebuilding it. I got to improve a couple of sections. One of those being this road. So when I initially built it, I didn't have as many two by four bricks. And so there were a lot of like these patches intermixed with the mock where you can see you've got lots of just random bricks. And so what I did was instead of rebuilding the road exactly how it was, I took out all those sections and now I started the road with just stacks of two by four running pretty much the entire width. So now from a distance and just looking at the road, it looks much more neat and organized. And then I put all of those extra random bricks in here, which will be assimilated into the Senate building. And speaking of the Senate building, one of the other pros was I had to break this section. And when I came over here and rebuilt it, it actually came together much smoother than the first time. You guys can see this line along the bottom is much more uniform and less jagged. Just the whole thing looks really good overall. So I'm very happy about that because I was still just a little unsure and unhappy with this, this design, but I'm much more confident I can capture the shape that I want with this technique. And speaking of that, there were a lot of you guys who gave me suggestions for Coruscant and I really appreciate that. appreciate all the feedback. One thing a lot of you guys suggested was to alternate these panels. So to have the wide section be at the top and then for the next panel have the wide section down here. And that would help this whole section not curve down. And that is technically true. However, there is an issue with that because if you were to have one of these wider sections down here towards the bottom, you can see it doesn't fit with the curve of the wall very well. And so you'd have these larger open areas or gaps. So that's actually why I have the small end down here touching the Senate building walls because you can see it conforms to the curve of the wall much smoother and there aren't really any gaps or seams until you get over here to these wider ones and this kind of shows you what I was talking about. They don't fit as well. So I think for now this is probably my best option. I'm not going to take you through and re-go over all of Coruscant because you guys have seen all this but the last thing I want to touch on is this building. I was in the process of rebuilding it and just you know it broke so much that it was really hard to put back together and I basically need to rebuild it not from scratch but pretty close and so I decided to just leave it taken apart until I do that because I still need to pop these panels off and finish tiling them so I felt like it would be a waste of time to rebuild this get everything connected pop off the panels potentially break things and put them back on so this skyscraper is all here it's just not completely assembled I think I'm just gonna wait until everything's done and then reassemble it all at once oh man what a week Yesterday, it all went down. We moved like 90% of it, 80% of it, and it was very stressful. Just that pack up, getting it down the three flights of stairs and into the truck and then driving it was what I was the most stressed about. Everything went so smoothly. I was so happy with that, and I'm back on track. There are no big problems, and I am all ready to get back to work next week. And speaking of getting back to work, now I can really put my foot down on the gas pedal and get some serious progress done. I was pacing myself a little bit and holding back just a little bit because I wanted to get the Senate building moved with as little of it being built as possible. That way there'd just be, you know, less potential for things breaking and there'd just be less rebuilding on my part. So next week I'm going all in on the Senate building. Of course, I want to get a bunch of that curve built. I want to get it to the final height it's going to be before I stick that section of panels on and maybe even start designing the roof. But that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and it was entertaining. It's not every day you see a giant mock getting moved like that. Don't forget to let me know what you thought about everything down below in the comments and I will catch you next time. But until then, happy building.